this uh, issue popped out because of I have created a uh, different container uh, than the default container so go to active directory domain controller node 1 node 1 and node 2 and it is custom container cluster and this is my cluster so this cluster cannot create new uh, network name a database server so it says it cannot bring online so first of all make sure you have checked this advanced features then after cluster properties and go to security add object types select computers okay and source your uh, source your dem this uh, cluster computer demo cluster yeah this one is demo cluster okay okay and give it to full control apply okay now go back to the uh, follower cluster setup and click on retry now it is start to set up again yeah sql failover cluster is installed successful close and we have finished this sixth step and add nodes add second node to sql server failover cluster node so in node one we have installed failover cluster and in node two same mount your SQL Server setup file and install setup. Click on setup. Okay, go to installation and now we will switch add to a SQL Server failover cluster. Yeah, same. I'm going to use developer free edition next. I accept the license terms for now I will not use Microsoft update next again I don't want to check SQL server update Yeah, everything is fine passed yeah that's fine next yeah this is my SQL server instance name and this is node 2 that's fine and cluster network name is database server data server click on next and same I will use GSCP that's fine and provide your user account password we already provided to node 1 next yeah, that's fine and now click to few minutes For now, I am gonna pause the video. I will resume when it completes. Okay, the SQL Server 2007 Fillover Cluster Aid Node operation is complete. Okay, that's fine. Very good. Close this all one. Uh, to close all this one, and I'm and go to Witness Server. There is. Uh, now check roles yeah there is a role and role is running in node 1 summary and from here you can move your role to different nodes I have just two and if I choose the best possible node it will send to the node 2 yeah 
the role moves move to the the role moves to the node 2 what if I restarted node 2 restart okay node 2 is restarting and <coughs> the fillover the fillover cluster is uh, transferring the role to the node 1 yeah it is transferred to the node 1 node 2 is restarted and I am going to restart node 1 to verify yes restarting node 1 and check with witness now it is transferring the roles to node 2 yeah. the role is transferred to the node 2 okay now next step yeah we have finished this seven step now go to it is a connect cell point to sql server connect cell point to sql server follower cluster database okay this is my serpent server I have already installed serpent server in this machine if you want to know how to install serpent server please watch my videos related to serpent server installation and from now I'm going to run configuration wizard yes next yes and create new server farm and next first of all we have to uh, specify the database server name so database server what should be our data server because if we cannot use the uh, node 1 and node 2 we need to use this data server this is the sql server failover cluster network name so use database server sps data server or database server let's check again data server okay that's fine data server and i will use sps19 provide your username and password which have permission in serpent server and database server next this is farm password we need to create next and this is single so this is single server farm the fine next and especially by the port okay uh, you can choose your port number which you want okay next main while In node one, oh, this is with me. So, node one, node one, connect. Manage the studio. Now it is creating configuration database. We can verify from our uh, 
data server using management studio and i have installed management studio in node 1 and connect database engine here data server okay and i have used windows authentication that's fine this user have database permission so connect and database now it is creating sharepoint config sp19 sps19 uh, it is creating the configuration database okay sharepoint configuration is successful finish and it will open the central administration i don't wish to participate okay and i will configure everything myself thank you this is central administration manage web application okay that's fine now we will verify the failover is working fine so first check failover the cluster is working in on node 2 so i'm going to restart node 2 okay node 2 is restarting and from witness server it is transferring role to the node 1 it is running an, on node 2 so let's try to browse sharepoint again manage application management and now this is manage web application that's fine it is this is working fine <coughs> thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you